Hey there folks, I wanted to show you a little clock I made here. Um, basically this is just a simple 12 hour clock and uh, these are um, set the hours, set the minutes and then this button right here uh, done something kind of interesting uh, helped me explain multiplexing LEDs to my uh, 7 year old. So uh, if you push this button what it does is it puts a delay in the multiplexing process. So you can see this kind of go out and then what it does is it gradually decreases the delay until the human eye can see it no more. So uh, in pushing that button I was able to explain to him how the LEDs are lit one at a time uh, in a row really fast where the human eye can't uh, tell the difference. But uh, it was just a neat little sketch I put it up there. I don't know how this is going to come out on video but uh, to go ahead and do that. So anyway I thought it was pretty neat. Thanks for watching. Hey guys and girls, uh, this is, I guess, part two of this video. Um, I realized that I looked over on my, my bench here and I had these little Lexan pieces cut out for the Nokia displays. Um, these guys right here, they get from Adafruit that I like so much. And uh, I realized that this four segment LED uh, display that I was working with is pretty much the same size as that. So, I jammed one in here. So what I did is, uh, there's a 328 here, obviously there's, uh, this is cut out for the size of the screen, uh, crystal, uh, the resistors for the um, anodes, and then um, I did a single resistor for the colon, that's actually not, um, that's not multiplexed, that's direct. And then three resistors here for an RGB LED because I like RGB LEDs, and I moved them to PWM pins so I can do cool things with them. Uh, the buttons are the just regular push buttons, as you can see, because everything's clear. And um, if you if you look, there's pieces of Lexan that got cut out of the top, that got cut out of the original piece, uh, are just in here, and it's it's good blinky like that. So I just have this hooked up to four and a half volts, and away it goes. And again, this is multiplexing slowed down. Uh, the clock is still running in the background, but the multiplexing multiplexing display is slowed down, so you can see it work. And eventually, the delay gets uh, lower and lower and lower until um, I forget what it ends on. That's a very very low delay though. And this is how you set this. I need to put a little bit of delay in the buttons here; they're a little bit jumpy. And it is 140. Fantastic. I'm really liking it tomorrow. Close enough. So the LED isn't programmed to do anything yet because it's 142, and uh, just thought I'd show you that. And this is the other button here to slow it down again, restart the process. Thanks.